I don't know about you, but my car's starting to smell like garbage. The foulest, most repugnant, nauseating stench is emanating from the back seat of my pride and joy, my baby blue Chevy Cav, and I fear that like an unwanted house guest, it might be here to stay. The horrible odor's in my trunk now too, and it's just like that episode of Seinfeld with the B.O. and the Beamer. The smell is on my fingertips, it's in my clothes, and I fear it's even going to get stuck in my hair. I don't know what I'm going to do, but something has to give. I've squandered a roll of Toonies on vanilla fragrance, but now my car just smells like rotting vanilla. I doubt I'll ever even eat ice cream again. I've been soaping and scrubbing like crazy, and still the smell is here, still the stink is here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I even splurged on one of those little air tree fresheners. I opted for pink grapefruit, but it hasn't made a difference. I don't think a whole forest of air fresheners would make a difference. Look. I didn't want to cross any picket lines at the public depot, and I didn't want to pay to have my garbage hauled away, because that's somebody else's job that my tax dollars already pay for. But something had to give. The garbage at the side of my house was attracting flies the size of Vincent Price. So I paid, and I took it myself to the private dump, and now my car's paying the price. The city promised us all a rebate check. Here's hoping it's enough to cover the cost of a new car.